If I've understood correctly, the chest was here when it was stolen. Ah, there are footprints which lead away from the camp. other footprints here. They're quite deep, as if the person who made them were carrying a heavy load. We're on the right path. The undergrowth has been crushed. Several people pass through here.
footprints seem less hurried. The thieves must have felt safer here. We must be getting close. many around here but I'm convinced they don't eat their prey where they catch it they would normally take it back to their lair maybe they were about to do just that when we got here let's look around we'll soon find out and let's not forget Aurelia's chest That's curious. On closer inspection, these men were obviously not killed by animals. The stab wounds are clearly visible. The fact that these outlaws were stabbed is highly suspicious. We'd best go back to the camp and return the chest. The Devesp coat of arms. This must be the chest Aurelia asked us to find. Can you open it? I'd be curious to see if the contract she spoke of is genuine. I can't see a lock. And we'd be hard pressed to explain why we broke it. We'd better bring it back untouched. Wait. There are armed men on the path. We should try to find a lookout point to learn more before we move on. Seems they're Aurelia de Vesp swordsmen. 
I'm afraid it is now beyond doubt. These men were sent to ambush us. Aurelia sent us to recover that chest solely in order to get rid of us. Hmm, what a nasty schemer. What do you think? Would you like to go up against those hired assassins, or should we just find a way round them? Shameless. She must have hoped those beasts would be the end of us. These men were just an added precaution. I expect. Expected foul play on her part, but I never thought she'd try to kill us so soon. What do you intend to do, Mike? My... You. I didn't think I'd see you again. So soon. Is that because you'd hoped we'd be clawed to death by those beasts? Or because you thought your assassins would get the better of us? Come now, who do you take me for? I was just putting your courage to the test, that's all. A princess's whim. <laughs> I kindly suggest you forget all about this little incident. You see, my dear, we divests have a habit of knowing as much about our enemies as our friends. I'm afraid my father's men have obtained some rather sensitive information, which, well, if the other governors were to find out, it could very well jeopardize your position, along with that of the Dorsay. If word were to get out about your origin, for example... Are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, what a horrid word! <laughs> Come now, I would never do such a thing. Let's just say that I'm ensuring your loyalty. In fact, some of my men are already at the courts of Hikmet and San Mateus, and ready to act if you try anything. But I'm sure it won't come to that. We'll soon be part of the same family, after all.
Why do you feel the need to resort to blackmail? You have your contract. Why threaten me? My sweet summer child, you seem to have learned to navigate the seas of politics in a duck pond. My waters, however, were shark infested. Knowing the weaknesses of others, as well as how and when to exploit them to ensure unwavering loyalty, is key to survival as a diversp. I believe I mentioned that my late husband was murdered at court. Well, his killers worked for my brother. My own brother didn't think twice before having the man I loved killed to secure his position. He broke my heart. I understand, of course. I'd probably do the same. And what of it? Do you think I would feel more remorse where it's, say, a cousin-in-law? Is there anything else? Here is your chest. This is the one you sent me to fetch. Yes, that's the one. Thank you for your help. You have shown yourself to be as reliable as they say. Long may it continue to be the case. Well, now that I've recovered my precious documents, you'll be able to deliver the wedding contract to your cousin in New Serene. I await the preparations for my arrival and accommodation. Then there'll be plenty of time to prepare the ceremony with my husband-to-be. The arrival of a noble lady such as yourself will require several arrangements. New Serene is a very new city. Yes, I'm sure. Don't dither for too long now. I'm counting on you to be as quick as possible and to convince your cousin and his men to be reasonable. You know what's at stake. Is there anything else? What are your intentions? Surely you're not going to all this trouble just to marry my cousin. And why not? Your cousin's quite the catch, you know. But you're quite right. I want more than just a new husband. I want a place where I can showcase my talents. A place to shine. Who knows? As the governor's wife, I could even become the new legate and try my hand at diplomacy. Unless I decide to keep you, of course. That is, if you promise to serve me well and aid me in expanding our influence on this island and beyond. The Divesps have long worked in the shadows of the congregation. No more. I hope that answers your question. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. She has us. We now have the contract, but even if it does turn out to be forged, we have no choice but to bend to her will. Come, my child. Have I not taught you anything? I appreciate that our adversary is devious. This situation may be harrowing, but there's always a way out of blackmail. Let's recover the documents held by those henchmen in Hikmet and San Mateus. We'll then have all we need to act against her. You're right. It's the only way to put an end to this alliance, and supplant the Viper.
this battle.
Your Excellency. I'm very sorry, but I can't let you in. For safety reasons, people from Teleme are not tolerated at the palace. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, of course. I'm so dangerous that I could attack the palace all by myself. Your Excellency, Her Highness... Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp of the Merchant Congregation has sent me to convey her regards. She would like to assure you of her deepest respect and her unwavering support as an ally with any troubles you may encounter. She also wishes to forewarn you that the person who, until now, presented himself as the congregation's legate may soon lose his position. Indeed, he is believed to have lied about his lineage, and doubt has now been cast upon his titles of nobility. It is also rumored that he is engaged in questionable dealings involving the guilds and the natives. We sincerely hope that, until this situation has been clarified, you will treat him with the utmost suspicion. Naturally, if these allegations prove to be true, a new legate will be appointed by Her Highness immediately. This situation is regrettable, but hardly surprising. I cannot deny that our dealings with the legate have often been wrought with a lack of elementary diplomacy. And what you are telling me merely confirms my suspicions. But look, here he is. Sir, in light of what I've just heard, you are not welcome here. At the very least, until these allegations are confirmed. We were thrown out like trash. I can't believe that Viper's claptrap got us into this mess. How will we discover where those documents are now? I must admit, it was humiliating. But now, we can give her a taste of our own medicine. I say we follow her, and once we discover her lair, finding those incriminating documents shouldn't be a problem.
fiery blasts, you'll find the quintessence of... Blasts, you'll find the quintessence of alchemy. The Damn it! It was a trap! some documents, but it's not the evidence Aurelia spoke of. These documents speak of you. It appears that the Devesp sought out information on each of you, hoping to influence you or to drive a wedge between us. Could you read it to me? Oh, I would like to know what a bunch of Renaigze may have found out about me. This is just further proof of their deceit, and the so-called evidence got away again. Let's search these men. We may find something useful.
According to this letter, the chest was given to a merchant in town who deals with the Devesps. He was ordered to hand it to the governor if something happens to the delegation. So that's where they put those documents you seek. If we're fast, we can get them back before the merchant learns of their deaths. Hello. Are you Valence? Indeed. Uh, what can I do for your lordship? Are you looking for tools for your workers? I have a large range of tools. Everything you need for mining or timber harvesting. I have no interest in your goods. I have been sent by Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp. She asked me to recover a chest you have in your keeping. Of course, of course. 
It's stuffed between my goods in the street just behind us. I hope you tell your mistress that I obeyed her orders. Do not worry. She will be told. Karantz, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaigse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Let's go. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, father. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Nice to meet you, your excellency. What can we do for you?
We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnit. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth.
poison on my blade. Then let's go! Here's the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the Keepers of Promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write, and they take care of it. 